Hi guys, Dorota Palicka, International New Artist and Educator here and it is a time when we are going to start doing those wintery sets of the news so you can have a wee preview of it in here. Yeah, really nice and easy design and I hope you will really enjoy doing it. Let's start! We are going to create this frozen look so I have just prepped the tip uh, like give them a couple scratches going to clean it and then we will start with the cut eye uh, effect on it so I'm using 183 which is a black ink I've done two just so it's quicker so you don't watch me painting all the tips black and then cut eye I think cut eye is quite nice for uh, winter designs uh, just because it's so sparkly. Okay, some black. And then cure it. Next one. There is also a tutorial of those beautiful nails which I've got on my left hand. I can show you that, guys. It's so nice and pretty. So you have to check this out as well. Actually, in general, all the nails which you see me wearing, uh, I have recorded the tutorials for you. Okay, so quickly paint this black. And then the cat eye. So the cat eye which we are going to use is uh, number 03. And I think for this design it's so pretty because you wanted it to stand out as well. So this is a nice standout color. Okay, apply it nice and decent amount. And then using the magnet, we are going to move our cut eye more into the middle, so it's more intense. So what I'm doing is I'm going straight and then I'm lifting it at the angle and then the design is moving there. Okay, so it's gone straight and then moving it into the middle. I'm just checking if it's the way I want. One more push here. That's it. Okay, so we've got nice intense blue color. Next one. This will be much easier, smaller tip. <laughs> So best is to go from all four angles, one angle, second one, third, 
third, fourth. And it's quite important how you take the magnet away so it doesn't affect your design. That's a nice one. Because um, if you hold the magnet too close when you're kind of taking it away, you could change the design. So watch for that, guys. Now we'll go side first, one side, other side. And this is a good idea. So go from the sides first and look how nice effect we have got it straight away. Um, yeah. Going from the sides gives you a better results. <laughs> okay, our next part. So these tips are curing and I've got those cat eye effect here. I just give it a couple scratches because I didn't want to do it. Uh, because the design is kind of similar on all the nails, I didn't want to um, show you on all of the nails. Uh, and I have already done some cat eye on them. Unfortunately, I had to buff it because they were protected with the top coat just so the dust uh, wouldn't go over them. Okay. And now we are going to paint those dust particles. So I've got my brush in here. Dust, what I'm talking. Yeah, dust from the tips. Now we are going to <laughs> paint this frost uh, on my tip. Okay. So... Well, what I'm doing is just giving a couple of the swirly beads more at the edges. Imagine it's just like kiss it with the frost. So you wanted it to be frosty looking. I'm just painting like a wee frosty parts. Very quick and this way it looks like a real frost. And then give it a cook. Okay, so I'm going to repeat that on this tip as well. Basically, the quicker you paint, the nicer results you will get. So I've got very little product on my brush. And then give it a cook. Okay, next one. So don't worry if you have like, you really want to paint it quick. And from the edges. Ok, 
Okay, so you can see it. It's already look frosty, but this is just a background. <laughs> like I like it when the things are just uh, created as a background first. You can really, really go fast. And then the next one. Winter nails, I think, are my favorite ones to create. So there will be <clears throat> lots of tutorials, guys, on all sort of different winter nails, Christmas and Um, don't paint like this way because then you will have the thickest part uh, in here. You want to paint it from the from the end of the nail. So then you've got thinnest and thinnest lines. Okay, so time for a part two. So what I'm doing is applying the uh, top coat over it and you could do matte and shiny oh my goodness matte or shiny matte or shiny let me check it I've got dilemma okay I'm going with the shiny but I feel like I should go matte <laughs> because it will give us frosty effect Okay, let's go shiny. So apply shiny top coat over it. I got one. Next one. This one is actually quite pretty already. You don't need like lots of skills to be able to create uh, those type of designs. The cat eye effect on its like own is really nice and pretty. So I should go matte. Or I should go matte and shiny. Okay, next one. I should do the frost effect on it. There is a great tutorial um, how to do the frost nails and frost nails that's uh, nails which uh, I mean they all frost nails but uh, it's a nails where I'm using um, matte and shiny top coat to create like a frozen effect as well. It's pretty awesome. Uh, so you would paint top coat and then before you cure you would use another top coat to create a really nice um, frosted look. You need to check this tutorial out as well. Okay, but when we're moving into the next step, so we need some sugar, glitter. And now we are not going to paint fast, okay? Now we are going to paint nice. So for the next part, I'm going to paint on top of this top coat. Okay. 
And what I'm painting is just uh, different types of shapes. by going only at the edges. It will create really beautiful effect And then I'm missing a tiny bit in here. Okay, so we have painted the design. And now is the time to sprinkle it with the sugar. So I'm picking up my sugar effect and just applying it over it. I have used the top coat with no inhibition layer, which means um, if I cured it, long enough the sugar is going to stick in only to the paint on French gel. Remove the excess. It looks messy at this stage but we need to cure it and the cure is double cure so that's um, 60 seconds cure. Okay next design. So do it different kind of shapes. Just so it's going to look frosty. Oh, it's so pretty actually. I love it. So sprinkle with the sugar. Sugar would go on my nails as well. I can see it now when I have sprinkle on top of my nail. Tap it to remove the excess. And then eventually I will be able to show you the full set of those beautiful nails. I cannot actually wait to see them in a full creation. Oh, that was ugly. I love the fact that it looks so 3D already. Sugar it. But you could easily do it like even my nails actually with this design, like so it could be pink and white. It will look really nice too. Okay, we've got the last two quickly to do it and then we can do a beautiful show of those nails.
really don't worry like here you can see it my brush split a little bit don't worry about those kind of things it looks like a frost has painted like the frost painting isn't um, nice and even I would say so it's a really quick design to do it even if we uh, do it on a full set of the nails. Okay, sprinkle. I'm going to spam you guys with all those Christmas <laughs> and the winter ideas. I uh, definitely, it's my favorite uh, time of the year for the new designs, I would say. Uh, you can let me know what is your favorite uh, time of the year. Like, do you prefer it more of a um, Christmas designs or do you prefer it uh, summertime? I mean, I quite like summertime as well. So summer and winter, I think I don't like spring and autumn. Autumn especially, I'm terrible. I don't know if it's because of the colors or... Yeah, like summer is a specific time of the year, so does the winter. That's why they are my favorite designs to create, definitely. But yeah, I'm looking forward to... know which designs you prefer, wintery summery or two more spring ones okay so that's the last one almost done So sprinkle it and then I can show you the full set of the nails which we have created today. Actually for the full set it doesn't take as long because the painting is quite quick. Even if it looks complicated and we have to use it like two layers of the design, I think it's still pretty simple. So let me show you the full look which we have created today. I'm so messy. Okay, so I've got my I wish to get the new one, but I have no clue where to get it. Okay, first one. Where are you? You are here. So what I need to do is I need to remove with the dust brush. Uh, and I love them because they are so gentle. They are not scratching the tips. So I'm just removing the excess of the pigment. Okay, and we've got this full nail. Wait, the cut particles which are behind it as well and that must be a ring finger I believe yeah I think it's a ring finger and then we've got pinky so I'm cleaning the dust as well they all slightly different but obviously they go together really nice So we've got the pinky. You could paint snowflakes as well, like um, I just didn't want to do the snowflakes on this design because we'll be painting lots of snowflakes as well. <laughs> then we've got the index finger. That must be the middle finger. And the thumb. So I'm just cleaning the dust. The dust, the excess of the sugar. And I can show you the full results because I love it when it's zoomed in as well. 
That's so pretty. Okay, so we are going to play with the lighting and the camera now to show you at the all angles. Oh, that's nice. You can see those um, frosted effect which you have painted on the beginning as well, like how nice it looks. And then you've got those blue popping through it, the cat eye. Yeah, I hope you have really enjoyed watching this. Oh, that looks so pretty here. I hope you have really enjoyed watching this tutorial. I'm sending you lots of glittery hacks and bye for now.